Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to get the best performance out of any iPhone without sacrificing any of the important features that you probably use on a daily basis on your iPhone. Now this is really important of course for any device, but especially if you have an older device that is not actually performing as it should, you have to actually go ahead and do these 10 steps that I will show you guys in this video and get the best performance out of your device. Now the first thing you will need to do is head on to your settings and make sure you go under the general settings and go to the iPhone storage. Now what I suggest you do is make sure that you always have at least like 20% of free storage on your iPhone. Your apps and all the processes actually do work on your iPhone will require storage. All the time you will have like apps like saving stuff like you can see right here we have the system data and we have iOS there they taking up a ton of space iOS and also your apps do need free storage to operate and operate better. So you will need to have free storage. So I suggest at least you have like 20% of free storage on your iPhone. If you don't, then you might actually find out that your iPhone will like work slower or certain apps will not work as they should. Now you can go ahead and go here. Apple has done a great job here with showing you different recommendations that will help you free up storage like this one right here. I can just enable that and it will actually help me free up storage and you will also see here a ton of apps and how much data they're using on your device how much space actually so if I go to something like Spotify here you can see that the app size is actually quite like small at 183 megabytes but we have documents and data at 10 gigs that is taking a ton of space so of course in this case I, will, I have a ton of stuff downloaded on spotify that's why it's taking 10 gigs but there will be other apps that will actually just download stuff like cache files like facebook right here you can see 7 gigs so what i suggest you do is apps like this go ahead delete them and reinstall them now of course with time uh, these data will pile up again but that will take probably like a few months for this to reach this size so in that time you will have more free storage next up is learning from apps now this will require a lot of cpu power and it will have a huge impact on the performance of your iphone so head on to your settings go under apple intelligence and siri and right here you will find a, basically a list of apps so if you go to your apps right here if i go to amazon in this case you can see learn from this app has been in disabled so you can see allow Siri to learn from how you use Amazon in this case to make suggestions across app. This will basically require a lot of CPU power. So you can go ahead and check all of your apps here and just turn that off as easy as that. Now another thing will be the animations of your iPhone. Now I do suggest this especially for older devices or if you have a device that has the battery health under 80% which means that it will be slowed down. If you have one of those devices then this is what I suggest you do is go ahead and go under the accessibility settings, go to motion and then you will have here reduce motion. What this will do it will just basically reduce the unnecessary animations of your iPhone. Now of course having those animations is kind of cool like you will have that kind of stuff but this also doesn't look that bad maybe probably a lot of people will also prefer this over the animation one but it will also just like save you a ton of performance when it comes to your iPhone. Next up, we're talking about the mail app. So of course, this won't affect just the mail app, but your entire device. So head on to the app section right here, find a mail. So let's just find a mail here that we have it. And then what you need to do here is change the way you receive your notifications with the mail app. So you will have a ton of like different things right here on the mail app. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and change the mail notifications right here under the accounts fetch new data you will have push you can go ahead and switch to manual that will be your best option that will save you a ton of battery and also a ton of cpu power that way of course you're manually checking for your email but at the same time saving a ton of battery and also improving the performance of your iphone now you can also do that as you can see right here you can do that individually for each account if you have multiple accounts on your mail app now something really simple when it comes 
to iOS devices is updating your device. I see a ton of people don't update their devices. Now, in my everyday experience, I see most people actually don't update their devices to the latest iOS release. You will probably notice that as well. If you just take a look around at your friends or family, take a look at their devices. Most of them don't have the latest update installed. So make sure you always install the software updates right here. So you can also go ahead and just turn on the automatic update. So everything is done automatically. And once you have the latest update, you know you have all the improvements, all the fixes that come with that update and your device must be of course way better and have way better performance. Now the same thing has to be done with apps. You also need to update your apps. A lot of time, a lot of apps, especially popular ones, will release updates after iOS updates and of course other updates as well, but you need to make sure that you have your device up to date with the apps updated. So to do that, of course, you can do that from the app store. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do that, but you can also go to apps here and go to the app store section and just make sure you have enabled app updates right there. So everything is done automatically and you don't have to bother with remembering to update your apps. Now, huge impact on your iOS device will be the apps that are refreshing on the background. That's really important for the battery and performance of your device. This is basically one of the three tips that Apple has given out to the users when it comes to saving battery, but of course will have a huge impact on performance as well. So here's what I suggest you do is go ahead and go to the general settings and then go right here to background app refresh and make sure that most of these apps are turned off. You need to turn off as many as you can here. So you know that only the apps that are really important and you need to be refreshing in the background are enabled. Another thing is the low power mode. Now I've seen a ton of people just using low power mode with their device at around 50 or 60% battery. That's a huge no, no. I suggest that you only use the low power mode on your device where the device is really low on, on battery, or you know that you won't have access to a charger in like a few hours or so. That of course will just slow down the device like huge, like you can see once you go ahead and just enable that, even the animations and everything is kind of laggy. It actually does bring down the performance a lot. So use this as less as possible. The next thing will be widgets. Using unnecessary widgets on your home screen, you can see right here, I only have a few that I do really use. The other ones are removed. Of course, I use a ton of them when like, just creating videos, but then I just go ahead and remove those. The same goes for the control center as well. Now you will have the ability to add third party toggles to the control center. And there are some animated ones that will of course require CPU power. And then you will have the ones on the lock screen as well and live activities as well. So there are a ton of things that you can actually enable for your device that will just consume a ton of CPU power. So make sure you only keep the ones that you actually need. And last but not least, something really simple that I know a lot of people will just overlook or just forget to do on their device or maybe even very rarely do it if they actually ever do it. And that is rebooting your device. Rebooting your iPhone will actually have a huge impact on the performance of your device. You will actually notice it, especially if you have an older device, go ahead and do a hard reboot. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button until the screen goes dark and you will see the Apple logo in the middle. That is the time that you know it's rebooting. You release the button and it will actually reboot and you will notice the speed of your device will actually be much, much better. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.